The New York Times obtaining chilling posts it says are from the Idaho murder suspect, Brian Koberger, as a teenager. Times sharing screen grabs of the posts without front in which Koberger reportedly says he feels no emotion, little remorse. One says, quote, as I hug my family, I look into their faces. I see nothing. It is like I am looking at a video game. Out front now, Nicholas Bogle Burroughs, the reporter who broke this story. And Nick, I know that you identified and have now read through hundreds of messages from about a decade of time that you say were written by Koberger. So this would go from the time he was a teenager uh, all the way uh, until now. Tell me more about what stood out to you in these posts. Yeah, so it, it begins um, with these posts on a forum website when he's about 16 years old. And he's talking about um, feeling a, a range of, of mental health conditions or problems with his life. He talks about not being able to feel emotions, feeling like he's detached from the world. And as you mentioned, that when he hugs his own family, he, he sees nothing. Um, he also described looking at his life and going through the motions like it's a video game. And he's really hard on himself, saying he feels worthless, that he's a jerk to people in his life and, and doesn't feel bad about it afterwards. This is all back when he's in about high school and his later teen years. Um, and, and what we know about his life after that is that he ends up becoming addicted to heroin around the time that he graduated high school in 2013 and that he's in and out of rehab. Or or gaming, right? There's something weird that they may have participated in mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. that created Can dictate what Brian had become. Could it be gaming, guys? I know there's some weird games out there. Could it be gaming? Like a really weird gaming. Like really weird. Dungeons and Dragons. There you go, sweetie. There you go, Joseph. There you go. Um, I'm 48 and they're older than me. Yes, yes. They're, they're in their 50s. So if Melendez brothers are in their 50s playing that game and they're in their 50s, then the game had been around for a while. That's what I'm trying to say. So I believe that his dad used to play this Dungeons and Dragons game himself but then it turns into a ping pong game right not the Dungeons and Dragons but that there's a game out there that is ping pongish right you guys know what I'm talking about right it's a um a Wii or um Nintendo right and I think Brian grew up on this game 54 and 52. Thank you, Anissa. Thank you, sweetie. So that means, so that would mean their dad would be anywhere. Let's just say they're 20 years in advance. Let's say maybe 20, 25. So his dad would be five, six, 75, 80 ish, right? Their dad would be, which would be the same age bracket, age bracket of Brian's father. So his father is anywhere between 60 and 80 and was around at the time of live Dungeons and Dragons, which meant that when it became a game, because Melendez Brothers made that game weird to do in person, right? Once they figured out, oh, wait, you were playing a game and you took it home, right? It was a game, but you made it real life. So nobody could play that stupid game on colleges anymore, right? And so I believe, I, Vic Game Chick, tell me, is there weird games out there? I, there has to be, where you could just, there has to be, there has to be. I think Brian grew up on those type of games, which is why I think the father's responsible for all of this. <laughs> if you would have gave me a little bit, I would have been like, I know what it is, Dungeons and Dragons. Learn to trust your instincts, child. That's why I do what I do for you all to learn to trust your own instincts. Accelerated motion. Somewhere back in August, which is why I'm getting the number eight, 
the plot to take someone down, it that accelerated. So I'm wondering if him and his dad, because he, he was smart in that way, because I feel like he was going to do something. He was going to do it around Christmas break or around Halloween. He might have thought it would have been easier in Halloween. <sighs> But then he thought about it because Halloween tends to be all night and he would have been caught. Um, so he did it after Halloween. He did it in November, right? After Halloween. But his plan was to do it. His plan was to do it during Halloween. Maybe now that I'm thinking about it, he was going to do it Halloween. But there was too much activity for for that to happen so i'm wondering if he was he was near their house around the 31st halloween um and but then i'm wondering if he told his dad buy a ticket and come get me i'm wondering when that ticket was brought if it was after november 3rd then we know that's a part of the plot. If it was before November 3rd, still part of the plot, but in a way where he knew by a certain date he needed to do this. Now, the other thing that I'm getting is if he needed to do it by a certain date, which is, I believe, was Halloween. <sighs> but then he thought about it because Halloween tends to be all night and he would have been caught. Um, so he did it after Halloween. He did it in November, right? After Halloween. But his plan was to do it. His plan was to do it during Halloween. Maybe, now that I'm thinking about it, he was going to do it Halloween. But there was too much activity for for that to happen. So I'm wondering if he was, he was near their house around the 31st. Halloween. Um, and, but then I'm wondering if he told his dad, buy a ticket and come get me. I'm wondering when that ticket was brought. If it was after November 3rd, then we know that's a part of the plot. If it was before November 3rd, still part of the plot, but in a way where he knew by a certain date he needed to do this still getting Dungeons and Dragons. You see what I'm trying to say? Um, and King of Cups, what's King of Cups? Father, figure, at least for me. I always see the King of Cups as Nick, father. the New York Times reporter, talking about Koberger suffering from a condition called visual snow. And the Times says he referenced this with the initials VS in an online post that says, when I get home, I am mean to my family. This started when VS did. I felt no emotion. 